This is a video to explain how are we related to Pocahontas. It starts with our grandmother, Marie Pocahontas Christopher Miller. Her middle name was Pocahontas. She was very proud of that, and so we want to see how she was related and thereby how we're related. Her father was Henry T. Miller. Henry T. Miller's mother, Mim M's grandmother, was Theodora Bland. And just a little side note, her husband, Anderson P. Miller, would pass away in 1881, and Theodora would remarry his brother, George W. Miller, and they'd continue to have little baby Millers. Theodora Bland's father was a farmer and a doctor, George C. Bland, and his father was a doctor, John Bland, and John Bland was a veteran of the War of 1812. His father was Captain Edward Bland. Don't know a lot about him, but I do know more about Richard Bland, his father. Richard Bland is who Bland County and Bland College in Virginia are named for. He was elected to the First and Second Continental Congresses, and he was elected to the Third. He would have been a signer of the Declaration of Independence. But as you can see, he died in 1776 before that could happen. If you peek up, you see that his mother was a Randolph. Her mother was an Esham. Richard Bland was a cousin to Thomas Jefferson. Richard Bland was married to Anne Poitras. Anne Poitras's father was Peter Poitras, and his father was John Poitras. We've been up a few generations, so I just want to check in and see that John Poitras is my generation's eighth great-grandfather. And he had a sister. Her name was Jane Poitras. So Jane Poitras is my generation's ninth great-aunt, and she was married to Thomas Rolfe which, if you remember your history, Thomas Rolfe is the son of Pocahontas. Pocahontas would die two years after she had Thomas. I believe she died in childbirth, trying to have a second child. Jane Poitras and Thomas Rolfe would have one child, Jane Rolfe, and Jane Rolfe would be married to Robert Bowling. So hang on to that name because we're going to go back back to Mim Mim, and we're going to look this time at Theodora Bland's family, but we're going to look at her mother's family. Rebecca Strachan was her mother, and Rebecca Strachan's mother was Rebecca Bowling. Her middle name was Pocahontas. So, Rebecca Pocahontas Bowling, you're starting to get an idea of where this is heading. Her father was Colonel Robert Bowling, and his father was Robert Bowling III. I'll just note that Robert Bowling III was a, a member of the House of Burgesses. He was also present for the Patrick Henry speech of Give Me Liberty, Give Me Death. So he was a statesman at the time near the Revolution, but he did not live to see the Revolution. His father was Robert Bowling II, and there he is again, Colonel Robert Bowling. He had two wives. His first wife was Jane Rolfe, the granddaughter of Pocahontas. And you can see that Colonel Robert Bowling is my generation's eighth great-grandfather. So our eighth great-grandfather was married to the only grandchild of Pocahontas. And so, like Mim Mim said, we are not uh, blood relatives of Pocahontas. However, we are descendants. We are related to all of the descendants of Pocahontas. In a future video, I'll explain how that makes us related to George Herbert Walker Bush and George W. Bush. Until next time.